...and supporting function. Plastics are simply taken for granted. They permeate every area of our everyday lives. And not only in the form of the many articles in daily use, like toothbrushes, microwave ovens, telephones, furniture, packaging, and functional clothing. Indeed, without plastic, our entire world of information and communication, as well as modern medicine, would be inconceivable. Today, how could we ever do without CDs, heart valves, or chip cards? Plastic is crude oil. The production of petrol gives rise to a byproduct which, with the help of catalytic crackers, is used to obtain polyethylene. This comes to us in the form of a granulate. We liquefy it and blow it into plastic film, which undergoes further processing. The plastic sector will expand even more. With so many single households today, smaller and smaller units are required in the food sector. And this multiplicity of foodstuffs couldn't be manufactured without the possibilities offered by plastic packaging. But plastic is not only practical, colourful and soft to the touch. Many plastic materials give off dangerous chemicals throughout a product's entire life. Mud tests carried out all over Europe by the WWF have shown that all of us carry traces of additives from plastics, like softeners for instance. Plastic is basically a brittle material, and softeners are used to make plastic products more flexible. Then there are flame retardants, which ensure that plastics don't catch fire easily. But although softeners are introduced into plastic products, they don't form a permanent bond with them. So, they're released during use. As we all know, after a while, plastic material becomes brittle. That's because these substances have escaped. They're in the air around us, in house dust. They're part of our environment, and we inhale them. Since a child's organs are still developing, these chemical substances pose a far greater threat to youngsters than to adults. Plastic toys in particular often contain a large volume of softeners, which make a teething ring pleasant to bite on. The problem is that these softeners have been shown to have a carcinogenic effect. When a child puts a plastic ring in its mouth, softeners dissolve out and are ingested.